Welcome back to another episode of Living in Sync with our natural rhythm. Today we're going to talk about June, which is basically in the middle of the summer period. Well, June stands for the period where the energy becomes out the most. Like we feel good very much of the time and basically that means we express ourselves very much. But we still have to keep in touch with our own energy to keep it in balance. And also, whilst you're doing those expressions a lot, keep in mind that you don't do it too much for yourself. Don't jump too far into something you still haven't really practiced, practiced yet. So think about what you have been growing as you see it in the first periods of the year. And now just do it a little more, but don't over expression so then also you might find in this period that there are still quite some people that no longer fit the new you and that they don't really fit um, the seed that you are trying to grow right now so try to figure out how to either get those people in line with your grown or find people that do want to listen to you so this month is also still about really just finding the people that really hear you and see you and also have kind of the same goals as you, just like the previous month. Just find your community and try to build up from that. So then the attitude of June. In, an ad in, in June you might have the attitude that you overestimate yourself because you feel all that confidence and all that energy flowing through yourself. So that, that, that's why it's important to just limit yourself and be realistic as well. Just try to grow still, but don't overestimate yourself. So the basic attitude is limit yourself and try to not be too much in your yang behavior, which is basically like being over assertive or outgoing. So try to stay within your own goal or see it that you've been growing and don't go all these possibilities and for, which might end up in you losing your, your focus. So your impulse should be focused on finding out what is possible and finding out what is still out of reach for now. So be realistic about the possibilities of this year at least. And then as well find out which people still help you in growing and which people let you down or keep you um, from growing even further as a person. So that's basically what the impulse is about this month. Well, then the undertow. So seemingly everything can now be in order and you can look back on spring as a pleasant mood still. Pay close attention to the little things that are not still yet in order, so don't overlook those things. So now it's really just about getting the most out of yourself, including the last few present, but without a power struggle and only from your sense of purpose, not from something else. So the question or reminder you could ask yourself on this month is, do you speak the truth enough where it is needed? Then the energy in this month where you expressed all those stored up energy from the past few months in May. Try in June to still keep doing that but also train your endurance in expressing that energy so that you don't have the problem that your energy is depleted within one or two months or three months but that you can Keep that up longer so that you aren't uh, out of breath very, very fast. Then as well, don't use that energy that you've stored up for design because that's basically what you've been doing the last couple of months. And now it's really instead important to use it to become a free creative spirit that can stand on its own. The, the opposite basically of December where you are more an autonomous process. So now it's important to practice with putting your idealism in the light and deepen that your deepest wishes, whilst also thinking everything is possible and that what you can do to get closer to that ideal image is possible as well. And then shapes and actions. Um, 
well now it's important to see the balance in the established relationships that you've built in the last couple of months and those form your basic structure for the second half of the year um, and it must be important to be a nice well and fitting jacket jacket not really a prison that just doesn't feel natural some questions to think about on that is can you find an optimal rhythm in your life so that you you don't keep running then an additional point of attention for this month would be like if you have a vacation of course to leave also some room for reflection so that you also have the time to think back on the growing process that you've made in the last couple of months so that you also know that what is good and what could be better and that you can advance in learning even faster in the, in the next couple of years or months. So this was it guys, I hope you liked the video and I hope you also enjoy the learning process you're going through yourselves and basically I will come back to the reflections on this month in the next episode in the end of this month and I hope you guys have a nice summer period because now it's all about showing your beauty and I hope you guys are capable of doing that and that you have a lovely community where you can share that with your own beauty so I will see you guys bye bye